principle for the bunkai strategies checklist just to uh, help us to define our, our kata applications. On this time, what we're going to look at is that the opponent isn't always face to face, and it's not even that we necessarily take an angle on them. Sometimes we don't even get to do the move in the kata until we've completely turned them around. So what we've got on this occasion is, first off, how you get there might change from time to time, and then you go into your kata movement. But what we'll show is that a you know, big hook comes in, we're going to go back to here and we're going to come around this way. Now as I come around that side, I've made this position which is oh so familiar. And what we're going to do is we're going to take this arm and feed it into here like this. Now, if we look at this without a partner, what you'd see is that I'm pretty much in the Moashi MP position. But now this hand here is going to take this, and what we'd look at is how to pull that down and set it. And then maybe, if I wasn't getting the, the compliance I wanted, I might even change that hand and then bring this side back. And then if it really wasn't going the way I wanted, then I might need to bring it in further and we bring it down again. So all that is quite a strain on the old arm. The key is that we're behind them to do it. What we've done is to slide behind, pull that arm up and feed it into there, which puts us in this position. Grab hold of that hand pull it down like that. And then if that's not good enough, what we've done is to change the grip and bring this one up. And then if that's not good enough, we'll pull them in, which will bring them around this way. Now, working with a partner, we allow them to move around that way. If we didn't want to let it move, what I'd have to do is isolate the foot and keep them in position. But of course, the limb isn't going to go through that number of turns uh, in any really comfortable kind of way. So, it could be that it's not the big hook. We might already be in here like this. And I might just buckle that and turn it and come into here. But however we get to here, we get to here. So there's what looks like a, a roundhouse elbow strike. We just take that and bring it. And then from there, we just swap the hand and bring it. And as we push this down, we're pulling this up and we get to uh, that, that, uh, that change of hands position. So that just gives us a variation or an application for that move, um, commonly seen in Basai Lai, um, and you see a variation in uh, Niju Shiho and Niseishi, um, and it's, it helps us to illustrate the principle that I don't necessarily want to be in front of the guy doing something here, trying to do something here when it's sometimes easier to just slip around behind them. Um, sometimes we'll show an application to the head for that, deliberately not putting that up here, um, but uh, it's a, a variation.